Hour, Trading Hour, with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Yes, we got a day, we got a dog, and we named him Curiosity. Think about that for a minute. So, what do we have going on today? Well, uh, it is Options Expiration Week. We've got a few other things going on today. Uh, we did have the um, some World War Three news come out. Uh, maybe just a little less than an hour ago, and the market tanked on it. I was kind of surprised that we got what we got today. I was uh, hoping that we had something that would much more not be an automatic rally. Um, the patron saint of uh, price and uh, volume trading, uh, uh, Richard Wyckoff, had a thing he called an automatic rally, and that was a rally that happened without preparation. And these tend to come out of, of uh, you know, just out of the ether, out of the blue. And that's kind of what we've gotten today so far. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, anyway, uh, they come out of the blue. Uh, and the idea was that the this first one is always kind of a little bit of a market gas. And then you get a pullback. If you come back with lighter volume, then the next time you go uh, up, that one is probably more a realistic view of what's happening inside the market itself. Uh, I was looking for that pullback today and of course it depends on which way you're looking at it because um, I'm actually getting there we go um, a, a slight move higher but I, this actually looks like it's referencing Friday's close and not yesterday's close now anyway. uh, I was looking for a fairly decent re, uh, reversal one of the reasons was uh, and thanks for reminding me. Uh, I had a, a gentle listener email me and ask me why uh, the calls uh, in the spies weren't reacting the way he thought they should. And there's a bunch of things going on that we're probably going to have to slowly unpack today on today's show. But one of them was the $28 billion worth of options flying through the market yesterday. We had the Donnybrook of all Donnybrooks of people buying uh, puts, which probably has put a blow in the market. We also have, uh, I think today, uh, a lot of people buying uh, upside protection uh, that are short the market. Uh, in the end, I think we're probably going to be somewhere around uh, today's high for uh, expiration on Friday. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to be dispirited. They all thought that, uh, well, you know, we had a big move lower and that was it. But a lot of this was uh, probably whistling past the graveyard. Uh, we've had this automatic rally. They tend to fizzle. What we really needed or what I would have been much happier with uh, for a rally would have been going sideways for a few days and everybody kind of uh, having a little bit back and forth and then a rally maybe into Friday. So right now I'm looking for options to probably drop um, at the money uh, or at the monies probably 50 percent. And then that's probably where we're going to find some kind of low. Uh, this week that we can trade off of that will probably stick. Anyway, uh, right now on the S&P cash, we're, it's not really that bad. Uh, 3889, it's not the end of the world compared uh, to the 60 points lower we were earlier this week. But, um, you know, we've had that nice little push down. We've had a rally. What would be nice is just to spend a day or two uh, working this out, letting it consolidate, and then if you're bullish, 
I think we could have something. I, I actually am for the end of the week. I just didn't think much other than the pop today was going to be something that you wanted to sell. And the pullback was something you were going to buy, but it wasn't probably going to be the pullback today. 877-927-6648. And that would be it. Eh. Okay. And a lot of stuff could go on. I think a lot of people are overthinking of it. Uh, of course, we've got other things going on now. We're going to have uh, more numbers this week. Uh, after the bell tonight, we've got Lennar. Uh, that's probably going to tell us a lot about housing sales. Uh, so there's a, a few more things out here that are probably going to move the markets uh, i'm thinking maybe thursday morning we can find some kind of low and then we'll move back up but uh you know what we have one of the biggest moves and options uh of all time and it just cries out for those puts and calls to go to money heaven and that would probably be somewhere in the mid 3900s for a friday's close so let's we'll see uh, what happens. Uh, the options have been amazingly uh, predictive as soon as the Fed uh, quit dropping the happy juice into the market every month. Uh, it still, they still worked as a good predictor, but not anywhere as well as they have been when the Fed has pulled off, uh, pulled the punch bowl away. So we'll see what happens. I, you know. Maybe there's a little bit more to the saber rattling with Russia. Maybe there's a little bit more to the problems we've got with the banks. Uh, a lot of things could be that way. We've had a nice pullback uh, on Monday. Uh, we tried to rally. Now we're kind of giving that up a little bit today. Uh, we did actually have a fairly good reaction to the three gap plays lower. Uh, with a lot of those stocks we talked about yesterday rallying 50 percent uh, of the moves back down. So I think a lot of those things uh, tell you that uh, the market is not as settled as uh, where we might think uh, usually. And, of course, if you look at the market every day, it's kind of hard to tell the bigger trends that are developing because we're so in, uh, in the trenches of the day-to-day. But it certainly looks to me like we've got a couple of days of trying to figure out uh, just what it all means before the market starts moving higher. Uh, and, you know, I'm not saying that we're going back to 4,800 this week. All I'm saying is that most likely the market will try to send as many puts and calls to money heaven by Friday as we have in the past. And that would push us up in the mid 30. 900 or so. Uh, email me at uh, path at tfnn.com. And uh, of course, uh, you can do other things too. When we come back, repeat is uh, wants me to look at the TLT. So we will look at that. Uh, thanks, Frank, for the earlier uh, notices on the spies. And, but that's it. We'll come back. We'll talk about the TLT. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. And yes, I forgot that we always come to you at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, um, the TLT for repeat from out there on the coast, the other coast. Um, what do you have? Well, you certainly have a reversal pattern, but yesterday was just nuts. Let's just admit it. Um, you wiped out everybody on the long side of the TLT. You're back uh, to where it's at. You've got a beautiful reversal pattern. Uh, the Fed's probably going to try to keep it uh, up a little bit. And then we're probably going to slide back down and fill a, a few of these gaps. So I, you know, everybody wants to believe the Fed's done raising rates. They want to say that instead of 50, it's going to be 25. Uh, inflation's still here, folks. It's not going away. As many times as uh, the market wants to tell everybody, we we got to have our, you know, we've we've got a monkey on our back, and that's low interest rates. And uh, I just need a taste. I just need a taste to get me through. I'm starting to Jones here. A lot of heroin references in case you live in loots. But uh, no, I'm just uh, looking for that. So, do, 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 do. what else? Well, that's about it. But uh, we'll look at some of the other stuff as we, we go. But, you know, just a nice reversal, you know, for, you know, maybe maybe we see 38.75, maybe we see 38.60. We'll have to see how far we pull back in the S&Ps. But as long as that's light volume, um, the market's pretty good at forgetting just about anything in a day. Uh, eh, 38.90. We're 38.85 is what I have. Oh, you're at the ES. I'm sorry. I always look at the cash because uh, the futures are just so easy to push around uh, that uh, I rarely look at the uh, ES itself. Um, I like the fact that that cash has to actually be there to move the cash and not, um, you know, not someone bought five 
or 10 ES contracts and move the whole thing. Uh, we're at 3880, uh, excuse me, 388, 11 or 12 on the spies themselves. But uh, yeah, 3885, is that right? Let's go back here and look at it. 3884 on the S&P. So, you know, if we're following what I think is happening, we should have that pull back over maybe the end of the day, maybe into tomorrow. Uh, then we're probably going to set some kind of baseline for Thursday with uh, more numbers and into Friday for expiration, which I think is uh, at least from these numbers going to be at least a little bit bullish. But, uh, you know, my my big dream, my fantasy would be that they stomp out the calls uh, and the premiums down to nothing. And then uh, I buy them at pennies on the dollar, uh, only to see them become dollars and maybe multiple dollars on Friday's close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's probably one of the worst things about talking about the markets is some people are looking at 15-minute charts. Some people are looking at the futures. Some people are looking at weekly charts. And, you know, the downside is that uh, it's hard to always remember uh, to always uh, give all the details of what you look at. I'm kind of more of a daytime kind of guy. I don't look at interday stuff very much. I don't look at the futures during trading hours. I look at the uh, actual cash. But that's just me. And it may not make a lot of difference other than uh, actually getting um, used to the way the market moves and the way you see those moves in those different vehicles. Okay, uh, what else was I going to talk about? We talked about the automatic uh, rally. Uh, the uh, dark pools are still incredibly uh uh, and, uh, traded, uh, that tends to make me think that this is a lot more of a retail uh, trader phenomena this week. Um, and if we are going to sell off, which we've talked about this for three weeks, I thought would be the first uh, week or so of, uh, of March. It's kind of coming into that. Uh, it, you know, Lightning doesn't even move in a straight line. It's kind of zigzaggy. Um, so could we, you know, have a handful of days where we go higher and then that just sets up a move lower? Certainly could be it. Right now we've had such a push down on heavy volume that I think that may take a, another week or 10 days. Uh, if you listen to me for any length of time, I always say that you should only probably be short 25% of the time in a bear market too, and probably not short at all uh, during a bull market. But uh, I think we're still in the bear. Okay, what else do we have out here? Do, am I, do I not? No, I'm not. I need to make sure I keep updating that. Okay. Okay. Uh, 388. Eight, three thousand eight hundred eighty-eight, and it was called three eighty-eight nine on the spot on the uh, S and P cash right now. Okay, other things going on. Do we have more emails out here? Uh, to, 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 okay, Let's see out here. Okay, first thing to look at is Pack W, P A C W, to two. Um, had kind of our three gap play. I would have liked to seen a little bit more on this first one, but this is kind of what you should expect on three gaps lower, especially as long as you have outstanding and higher volume. None of these are probably going to be absolute textbook. Uh, there are some out here, but this is pretty much what you should, should expect. And that's why I say you probably on these three gap plays, should be thinking about taking your money on the third gap because generally you're going to have some kind of low. Okay, uh, what else do we want to look at? Uh, Lennar, let's take a quick look at that. Earnings out after the bell on most of these TFNN stations. Uh, to, to do a see out here. 
Okay. We've got Lennar. And you're just back up into this move where it came back lower. That was on a little less than 3 million shares. Uh, today, you got about 1.5 million shares so far, pushing back up to it. It's very hard for me to th think that there's a whole lot of upside in this. Uh, but at the same time, maybe not a whole lot of downside either. Um, I would say that probably 102 and a half might be the high side uh, to 104 if they really have good numbers out here. The, the downside, uh, probably 97 or 98 tomorrow morning after we get the news. We shall return after this brief time out. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we don't have much going on here. Oh. One of the things I did want to do is get back to a little bit of history, uh, which we haven't uh, done, I think, didn't do yesterday. So busy, so busy with the market. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1955, AT&T Bell Laboratories announces the completion of the first fully transistorized computer, uh, Tradic. I think that's what it is, Tradic. Uh, which stood for Transistor Digital Computer, contained nearly 800 transistors, which replaced the standard vacuum tube and allowed the machine to operate on fewer than 100 watts, which was 1 20th the power required by a comparable vacuum tube computer. And, of course, now, wow, 
what a transistor take probably a ten thousandth, a hundred thousandth of a vacuum tube, probably some infinitesimal amount. Uh, but of course, uh, transistors were first shown in 1926, and it took really till the mid uh, 1950s before we had transistor radios or transistor computers or transistors, just about anything. So that's about it. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, let's go back here and take a look at some of these um, out here. Check the email on that. Let's see, where's my... There it is. Got to get my other stuff up. Okay, so we looked at the TLT. We looked at the uh, email. Okay, let's go back to the Tiger's Den. See if anything's going on in there. Okay. Uh, let's look at some other stocks. Um, Apple is up um, a little bit. Um, interesting news from Apple. Uh, some fairly big leaks out of them. And they're pretty good at keeping uh, a secret a secret. But it looks like uh, the CEO has over um, uh, rode the decisions of the rank and file engineers in trying to get some kind of uh, meta universe kind of product out the door. Uh, and they're pushing ahead, even though the engineers are saying it is not ready. So I think uh, it's not a big piece of news in the market. Everybody kind of shrugs it off, but uh, kind of interesting that uh, this is just a doji out here on a day that we had a lot more going. To, to take a look at Microsoft next. To, to, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 3,900 on the S&P. Yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more of a pullback. Okay. To, 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 what else? Uh, oh, Microsoft MSFT as we go through here. Uh, we've got a gap on it. Of course, uh, a lot of reversal volume yesterday. We got right back up to previous resistance. Uh, the volume is uh, about 18, let's call it 19 million shares into a 24 million share day for the last day on March 6th. Uh, that also goes into a $30 million down day where you did have that gap down on the 17th of February. So not a lot of juice out here. As I said, I would love to see uh, some consolidation and uh, the the calls uh, kind of melt down over the next couple of days uh, and think that maybe Thursday and Friday are better days in the market. Okay. And see what we have here. Got some more emails. Okay, I'll look at those. Uh, NFLX. Yeah, nothing much. Uh, Joan wants to know if uh, the uh, Oscars actually do anything uh, for any of these streaming companies. And I would say since the movie that won had nothing really to do with Hollywood and almost everything other than a little bit of the cash to make the movie that won the best movie came outside of Hollywood... Uh, probably not much at the moment. Uh, that was a fairly uh, good uh, uh, example of an independent film uh, that no one would make in Hollywood winning uh, the Oscars uh, for best film. But, you know, what else can you say? Netflix uh, doesn't really look like there's anything much happening. You got a kind of light volume pop out here today. Uh, Disney... Let's see if there's anything else out here. Yeah, you're up on no volume on this, too. Uh, Disney really looks like 88 bucks uh, where it'll go in uh, to uh, the pop on the 4th. As we've been talking, so many of these stocks that took off uh, in the first couple of days of the year uh, with some nice gap higher look like that's what these things are going to do. A lot of the, a lot of the weaker stocks. So that would be about 88 bucks on Disney. No real change there. In fact, uh, a lot of the inside magazines of Hollywood continue to talk about uh, a lot of friction 
going on in between uh, some of the creative types and the executives at uh, Disney. And some of those executives uh, are kind of in the same creative camp. And uh, I'm not too worried about people actually watching their stuff, uh, more interested in other things other than uh, filling seats. Uh, and, of course, you're really actually filling the lazy boy these days. Not that many people going to uh, the theaters themselves. Did end up uh, watching uh, the last uh, in the series for uh, The Last of Us. And I have to say that when I... I look forward to something like a video game where the script was so good uh, on the game itself. Uh, I wonder, you know, there are some things you got to change when you go into movies opposed to a video game. But I played the original video game. I think it was back in 2010, uh, and this was the the it was uh, there were two versions of the game, uh, and we of course for season one's really the uh, first part of it season two is uh, another one but it, it's it's trouble uh, it's problematic when you go I was hoping for a lot more didn't get it but it could have been a whole lot worse and many of them have been but the last of us I guess it was just okay I'm much more uh, entertained uh, lately by uh, the last season of Endeavor uh, which is an ITV um I think it's partly by the BBC, but it's like an ITV thing, uh, Inspector Morse, all those other ones. But uh, last season of Inspector Morse, that was Sunday night. I didn't get to watch that. Uh, I've all actually only seen the first uh, one of those, but I'll get the rest of them out here. Generally, they play a little later, um, sometime in the summertime here on PBS in the United States, but it's uh, ITV's uh, one of the bigger broadcasters in England or the UK, but that's it. Uh, someone say, did Dave talk about AMD? I did not. Uh, I did buy a lot of AMD stuff this weekend. I don't know if that's uh, actually doing anything. Probably not. Um. But uh, there were some very good blowout deals on new product. I'll talk a little bit about that uh, when I come back. In just a minute. Like a bad rat. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we come back, uh, to, 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 to David Panama says uh, MDB gap down. Of course, it's MongoDB. Um, we talked about this when they had the earnings come out. The question is, do I expect to push down to 190 area? I think actually support for this thing is 170. You've got a double gap down there that really hasn't been retested. Uh, that looks to me like the thing's in a bigger trading range, uh, but that 170 area does look like uh, it. Uh, if the market does continue to drift down, which I think many of these can uh, can over the next couple of months, uh, there'll be a lot of ups and downs. But I think overall it's more down. These JSON databases are not new. Uh, many of the databases that didn't incorporate. Uh, and I'm, when I'm saying JSON, it's not J-A-S-O-N, it's J-S-O-N. And it's a way of uh, making a database uh, search on text, not so much on numbers and indexes, which is the way that uh, databases have been for forever. But now we're searching on documents, that kind of stuff. Uh, and the JSON, which is a standard for a, a way of putting that stuff together, uh, is uh, what these companies are all kind of worked on. And it's very efficient, very good. But while Mongo kind of started off and there weren't a lot of people that had great options, uh, even the databases that didn't focus on JSON uh, are now. So it's kind of lost a little bit of its luster. Um, I haven't looked real hard at this, but I think that's why they sold off uh, for earnings. But at the same time, I think the entire market is a little weak. Uh, and I would much rather want to buy this at 170 uh, than try to uh, buy it now. Um, I don't see a huge reason to go short. Uh, but... Uh, because you could just go sideways in this one. But uh, I would say the risk would be much better at 170 uh, than anything else. Uh, okay, what else do we have going on here? Uh, power went out. Uh, MDB have horrible bid, ad, bis, uh, bid ask spreads. Ask bid spreads, bid ask. Uh, do, 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 battery backups is good. Uh, yeah. uh, certainly, uh, 1500 uh, battery backup is something that you need. I've got two of them, and I want to get bigger ones. They've got some that run off uh, car batteries, which I may be better off doing. Uh, but uh, it is nice the UPSs, uh, you can pretty much get the batteries from Amazon, but uh, the ones to run a decent computer now they've gone up they used to be you used to be able to get them for about 130 bucks a year ago now they're about 180 185 190 but uh, the batteries you can place uh, every couple of years for 
I don't know, 60 bucks, 50 bucks. Uh, yeah. That's what I was saying. Someone's talking about, but the Internet dies now, not so useful. Uh, that's what I was talking about uh, using um, maybe one of those load leveling uh, routers and uh, going for something like T-Mobile or Verizon Steel. If you already have your Internet with them, uh, if you already have your cell phone with them, uh, their home 5G Internet network is only like 25 bucks a month, which would be a great backup. Um, I'm still working, trying to work it out here since I don't have my service with T-Mobile or Verizon, but both of them basically at, uh, offering the exact same service. Um, this T-Mobile is probably a little easier to get along with still, but that's it. But yeah, 25 bucks. Uh, maybe uh, if you don't, I think it's 50 bucks. Um, but uh, that would be a great backup to have, uh, you know, if you're in business and your business is trading stocks, probably not a huge uh, expense to have if you're daily trading. Uh, to do, okay, what else do we have here? We've got some more emails. Okay. What else did uh, they want us to look at? GLD out here. Uh, have I changed my opinion at all? No. I think you're going to get one more gap higher. Uh, this is just really the opposite of uh, what we're looking at. Now, maybe we get one gap lower uh, with the S&P over the next day or two. It wouldn't be surprising to see maybe some numbers come out on Thursday morning. It's, I think it's Thursday, isn't it, for the jobs numbers? Uh, and that would be it. And then, of course, uh, we're looking ahead not too far from now uh, with the uh, uh, Fed Reserve uh, meeting calendar. Okay. And what's that? Okay. So this is March 21st and 22nd. We're, so we're basically, well, yeah, we're a week away tomorrow from their next big meeting. So we've got that. So there's no end to the amount of uh, getting on the treadmill and not getting off uh, out here. But uh, certainly we go into uh, options expiration on Friday Options roll over on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to have lighter volume because of the Fed announcement on Wednesday. Um, yeah, as the Chinese uh, curse says, may you live an interesting time. I don't think there's a lot of times to actually breathe uh, too much. But, yeah, um, you know, you don't have to have these gaps. Don't have to be one, two, three. A lot of times, uh, like the example I sent out in the white paper yesterday, they take over some take over time, but you want to, you know, you get two, you're probably going to get a third. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that third this week uh, ahead of the Fed. Yeah, it rhymed. Didn't know it. Uh, take a look at Amazon. Uh, Amazon's biggest problem lately has been uh, getting product, uh, especially from the Chinese. Uh, dollar issues, a whole bunch of other stuff. You've got a very small gap higher out here. You've got a gap right around 87 bucks. That would be about support. Yesterday, you got down to 88.12 at the low. Uh, today, 95.07. I think this whole market kind of just wants to go back to support at these lower levels. And I continue to think that uh, 87 would probably be the number on Amazon, too. A <laughs> group discount. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, someone said, uh, I'm Verizon, but my signal isn't great here. Um, there are, you know, if you put it on the top of your roof and or uh, by a window, um, these 5G ones tend to work extremely well, even with poor signals. But I think you can take it back. I think they give you 30 days. So you can always just set it up and see how good it is. Uh, the bigger issue would be figuring out how to set up your load balance router. Where literally you, it's a router that you can plug in multiple ISPs to and it automatically switches for you. But uh, those things, I don't know. 
100 bucks, 150. We'll be back in a minute. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, just talking about uh, getting a backup for my internet has made me think more about it. Uh, some of these may be Less expensive than I thought. Um, load balance and failover. VPN, USB, access control for business. Here's one. I don't know the company name. I don't know if I'd buy it either, but not bad. 62 bucks allows you to plug in multiple um, uh, ISPs into a box and it'll automatically flip between the two. It's always interesting. Uh, as we get ready to wrap up the day, the market's just kind of sitting out here uh, up 42 points. I really haven't spoken much about the volume today because, you know, I didn't really think, you know, with the movement in uh, what we saw with uh, uh, the Russians today, it caused a little bit more of it. To me, the big news of the day was just the massive amount of options uh, traded yesterday, $28 billion, uh, which really shows just how big the option market has gotten as of late. Uh, but my thoughts on that are that uh, they'll find the center point of that and be able to walk away with maybe $10 billion of, the, uh, of those dollars, maybe half that, maybe $14 billion. 
uh, if they can just get the numbers right for Friday's close. So we'll see uh, how that works out. But, uh, uh, of course, uh, as I said earlier, Lennar after the bell, I think that's going to set a lot of the tone because uh, people are going to start thinking if uh, it's okay, then the Fed doesn't really need to drop rates, that maybe they can raise them a quarter. If it's horrific, maybe they, uh, the Fed does pause next Wednesday. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we'll see. We're going to have more numbers this week. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to get a barn burner of a Thursday or a Friday uh, for expiration this week. Sell when you can or cover when you can. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems